Welcome, folks, to another Game Hoarder production. I'm gonna be just redoing the videos. I'm gonna delete the other two that I started. I'll explain why in a moment. Welcome to Dark Sun, Wake of the Ravager. Command me, master. <sighs> the city of Cheer lost its king and now stands vulnerable. I will take it for my own. Go, prepare for my coming. Your might is unequaled, master. Yours will be a glorious victory. Silence! Do not tell me what is mine, slave. Forces are awakening that you cannot comprehend. You are but a pawn. Go! Alright, so here we are once again. Back to Dark Sun 2. I got to redo my characters. We're gonna go ahead and this time I'm gonna make Lug Lug the leader. Thank you! We're gonna let this be Lug Lug show. Lug and Ronstock, so the front warriors. Zimix. And click click. As far as the selling and redoing of all the uh, inventory, I'll go ahead and do that off video. I want to get as deep and as far as I can here. Now, in the very first video I did of this, the battle music was very messed up. So I had to get the patch. What happened was when I patched it, that screwed up. I patched it mid-game, and that save game actually became corrupted. Last night I was shooting video 3, and I came to a quest that was impossible to do correctly. I was quite upset. So I had to take a deep breath and go to bed. And I woke up and started over this morning and realized that if I started a new game, post patch, back to the dark sun world. that it worked fine. That's the biggest reason why I'm starting over. Because we don't need broken quests. This game is buggy enough as it is. At least it was an early quest. Hopefully, we don't get 14 videos deep and realize I can't beat the game. Because that's going to piss me the fuck off. You must come with me to the Veiled Alliance. An evil has crept into Tear, which will destroy us all. I have seen it. What did you see? He was a nightmare come to life. The very face of death. But there's no time to explain. We must get to the Veiled Alliance headquarters at once. Arslan will help. <coughs> oh! Click, 
Click, click will kill you. I'm missing a lot. In the original video I did of this, the music would restart itself. It was very gimpy. I don't know if I can get on that guy. Yeah, he's going down. Lug Lug Smash! Guy's got some fucking hit points. Each party member receives 10,000 experience. Conjure Elemental sounds cool. So does Kona Cold, though. Let me check here. Alright, to go over our characters here starting really quickly, Lug Lug is a level 10 gladiator. Nice strength and constitution there. Neutral, good half giant. This is the original Lug Lug character that was created in Dark Sun 1. I know many of you are happy to have him back. Stock is wielding plus four dragon's bane and a metal plus four longsword and a plus two sling. Lug Lug is wielding plus two El Drinkas. That has vampiric touch and a plus two obsidian longsword. Zemix is a female elf preserver thief, level 10 and 11 respectively. She's got the plus two burning hands weapon and click click. Amazing stats. Female Thrykreen, Fighter Psionic, she's got her plus one cha cha! And Gloves 1d6 plus two with the detonate ability. Also has a stone plus three dagger. So we got to keep a lot of our cool weapons. Some stuff has been converted. Let's go ahead and check out this scroll. Akula, you are to meet our contact at the caravan gate and go immediately to the Vale Lions headquarters. Aslan can help you in this. Before meeting the contact, though I want you to check out that rumor about the Templars. It is no doubt just another ghost story, but now is not the time to be careless, Matthias. Alright, we'll go ahead and we'll take that. And you never know, you might need some sandals. I'm just going to grab this stuff for now. Again, I'll sell most of this off the video. Now, I ended up having like half a million in steel last time, so... Don't think we're too worried about money, but... Yeah, what do you want? I'm Lug Lug! Ah, 
You're the one who was with Bakula when she was killed. You ought to tell me what you're doing with her. She thought I was from the Vired Alliance. Well, are you with the Veiled Alliance? No, but I want to join. Just like that, eh? Well, I might be able to help you, though, if you're willing to run a little iron for me. Are you? Uh-huh. Good. What I want is for you to find out what the Templars are doing. We've heard some rumors that they're turning to defile the magic since the sorcerer King Kalak was slain. What exactly do you want me to do? I want you to go to the Templars' offices and find out what they're doing. Mind, don't need proof, not just stories. I'll also want you to cause the Templars as much trouble as you can without coming back to us. What kind of proof do you need? A woman by the name of Kalobuta runs the things at the offices. If you bring me a document with the name on it, which describes the Templars' plans, I'd call that proof. Where do I find these documents? And what if there is no such document that you speak of? If I know the Templars as well as I think I do, there will be. Templars like the order spelled out. It makes it easier for them to sift the blame to someone else than things go wrong. Where do I find them? They have offices on the northeast side of town. My money says that you, that's where you'll find your answers. How do I get in? Ah. They let you in the front door just like you're a lost friend, but don't expect to find anything but lies there. You're going to need to get the inner offices. You want to talk to Faina before you go. I hear she's done a little exploring in the offices, if you know what I mean. Tell me about Faina. She sounds pretty. Faina is a thief, but she only steals from the Templars. Maybe that's just because she's got the same keen sense of the survival, or maybe she's got a conscious. Last I heard... She'll stay in at the Hobbinger's Roost on the southeast side of town. How do I find out what they're doing? Well, you probably don't want to barge in there with swords flashing. A stealthy approach should be more rewarding. What if I don't want to run your errands, dick licker? That's your choice, but if you don't help me, you're not likely to get very far in this town. You might even find yourself laid out dead in the street. Who is responsible for Bakula's death? It was the Draxons who killed her. About a month ago, strangers started drifting into Tyr from her Draxa. They aren't your typical cat purses, and for some reason, they must have decided Bakula must be assassinated. What do you know about the Draxons? I don't know much. I've seen quite a number of them, but never many at the same time. They always appear from nowhere and then melt away. What are Draxons doing here? They smell like donkey shit. The Draxons are much more organized than any bandits I've seen, which makes me suspect they have a lot more in mind than taking advantage of our lack of the Sorcerer King. Why are they still in power? They look like a bunch of douchebags! The Templars are a foul lot, no matter what city they come from. Those here in Tyr, though, they're humbled a bit by a Sorcerer King's death. Of course, that just makes them more vicious. I wouldn't say that they're in power. After all, they've lost their magic and they know they're vulnerable. They run the bureaucracy more because they're the only ones with bureaucratic skills than anything else. If they're powerless, what threat are they? Don't make the mistake of underestimating them. The Templars have the inertia of a centuries of rule. No small force that, plus whatever scheme it is they're cooking up. What happened when the Sorcerer King died? When Kalik was killed, Nathana grew, grabbed the throne and declared all slaves free. Of course, that was just because he didn't want them killing them. Most folks are as good as slaves because they aren't want those power call citizens. Tell me about Tithian. Some say Tithian had a hand in Kalak's death. Certainly wouldn't put it in the past of Vulture, but he is the king hand Tyr now, even though he's a recluse and hasn't done a thing. Since the Council of Advisors was formed, folks are pretty much on their own here. And I'm not one to complain. You said they were using defiler magic? That's a rumor. But it hasn't been proven. The only thing we know for sure is that the Templars have turned to a new source of power to replace the magic they lost within Kalak's death. 
What did the other Templars do? A lot of them don't stick around, going off the big, from the other sorcerer kings. Like as not, they all died in an attempt. The cowardly ones, though, stayed here, and for the most part, stay out of sight. Tell me about yourself, Arslan. I thought you were a giant lion. Don't know what the fuck you're talking about, Lug Lug, and don't know what's any of your business. Maybe when I know I can trust you, I'll tell you something about myself. Don't forget, proof of Kalo Buta's plans is what I'm looking for. Good luck to you, Lug Lug. You big stinky fucking half giant bastard. Me walk slow. Me walk fast. Me walk slow and fast. Hello. You perty. Now don't worry, we're going to talk to everyone again. Do a complete mishmash of all the dialogues. Oh, come right in. Don't mind the door being shut. Thanks. That's exactly what I'll do. Oh, I'm sure a big, oh, I mean half giant like yourself, is going to do whatever he wants right up until he discovers a knife in his heart. Who are you? You Bertie. Name's Faina. I've been working for Tia for about six months now. It's a rich town despite its recent troubles. Arslan said you regularly robbed the Templars. He did, huh? I'll have to talk to him about being so free with my name. It's true, though. I like stealing from a blind man now that the Templars have no power. Why do you rob them? Let's just say I don't get along with them very well. An old argument we've yet to settle. Can you help me get in the offices? Your eagerness shows you got grit, but before I do anything, I have a problem with the car, the merchant. If you take care of my problem, I'll tell you how to get to the Templar's office. You'll be able to come and go as you please with no one wiser. Is it a deal? What's your problem with the car? It's really more of a misunderstanding. I have... Seems I caused him a minor discomfort when the Templar he had bribed turned up dead. He wants me to pay off the kickbacks he would receive from the Templar, some ten thousand steel. If you can convince a car to forget the debt to pay him off, I'll tell you how to get in the Templar's office. It's a deal! You're a lifesaver. I'll wait here while you go talk to a car. What troubles has Tyr had? When Tyr's social king was killed, the iron mines all but shut down Tyr, and without money. It looked like a total collapse for a while. What do you know about Templars? Besides their stinky dick lickers. I know enough about the Templars to realize they're the scum of Athos. More like the scum of my asshole. There isn't a thing crawling that's more repulsive. What's your argument with them? I don't like the way they do business. They think they own everyone in the city and that they have the right to ruin someone's life just to satisfy a whim. I just make sure they own a little less than they think. Do you know what they're planning to do next? They want to get their power back and they'll do whatever it takes to ensure they get it. Are they using defiler magic? It wouldn't surprise me, but I haven't seen any evidence of them using defiler magic. It's probably just a rumor to get people's anger stirred against them, as if they aren't hated enough already. Why are they still allowed to rule? Seems like bullshit to me. It's more of a habit than anything else. The people think Tyr's bureaucracy is too complicated to run themselves, and that other city-states would attack if there was a revolution in Tyr. What have you seen the Templars doing? What strikes me is that after the Sorcerer King was killed, a lot of the Templars left here. Now I'm seeing new Templars arrive, and these new Templars aren't like any of the others I know. What are you doing? I was just tallying up what I got on my last job. Not near enough, I'm afraid. Seems like the Templars have no more money than magic now. The Kallik is dead. What was your last job? You could say I'm a miner of sorts, though. It's gold I dig for, not iron. Tell me about the Akar. He's not any merchant. He's the head of House Gazette. What sort of business is he into? He will tell you he deals in iron, and mostly that's true if you don't draw lines between official and black market iron. What he won't tell you is that he also controls a web of spies. Who's he spy on? Anyone and everyone, provided the price is right. I've even heard that he spied on the sorcerer king and Draj and Yurik. How he could have done that and lived is beyond me. It sounds like a car is a man with answers. 
Yes, you could say that, but he hasn't lived long, lived this long having a loose tongue. He isn't likely to tell you anything because you're new in town, and certainly he won't say anything cheaply. Where can I find him? He's in the mansion on the northwest side of town. And what kind of person is he? Sounds like a D-bag. A car's a decent enough man, as far as merchants go, but his only loyalty is toward gathering wealth and power for his house. Well, it was nice talking to you. Good luck. Okay, bye-bye, pretty lady. All right, let's head to talk to a car here. We walk through people's houses because it's fun. Shortcut, never mind. Hello. Goodbye. Hmm, we lost. Excuse me, sir, but this is a private residence. What are you doing here? I'm Lug Lug! I'm pleased to make your acquaintance, Lug Lug. My name is Bo Bo Bohemir. Bohemir of House Gazette. Ah, uh, I'm here to see a car. A car is in the room right now. If you follow me, I'll show you in. Oh, nice graphics! Right this way, please. A car is right through here. Thank you. Ah, come in. Look, look, come in. How can I help such a fine half giant as yourself? How did you know my name? A man in my position knows many things. Please do not take offense. I'm here to talk to you about Faina. Ah, Faina. Now there's a woman with a fine sense of value. It's too bad her dislike of Templars gets in the way of a good sense. As I recall, she owes me quite a sum of money. I'm here to pay off the debt she owes you. That's very noble of you, and I certainly have no objections to you paying. The debt was ten thousand steel, as I recall. Will you pay now? Surely the money is not of prime interest. What's more important than money? Unless it's a chance to gain an even higher profit. Perhaps we could make a deal between ourselves... Yes, I could let you live. You may threaten me all you like, but if I gave in to you, how long do you think I'd live? A merchant who can be intimidated becomes the target of every hoodlum in town. Talk to me again after you decided to be more sensible. What is your position? I am the head of House Gazette, trader and iron and ore and other precious commodities. Obviously, I must know who it is in town. I'm to stay on top of the market. What other commodities do you trade? Oh, mostly just odds and ends. But enough about myself. What brings you to see me? I already told you, Dick Licker. I'm here about Faina. Now I have to talk to you again. Because you're afraid of Lug Lug. What exactly did you have in mind? I've been trying to convince Boric, the overseer of the mines, to look the other way when my ore shipment comes in. It would be worth a great deal if I did not have to pay the duties what that the Templars place on the ore. How can I convince Boric if you failed? I failed because Boric knows he is closely watched by the Minister of the Mines. If I or anyone from House Gazette approached him, we would become suspect. You, however, are unknown and not likely to raise suspicion. All right, I talked to Boric for you. Go next door to Borg's office and give him this note. He will understand what all the numbers mean. Simply details of the arrangement. If he agrees, come back here and I will release Faina from her debt. Okay. Nice talking to you. This stupid note. Move, bitch!
And by the way, it's supposed to be silent right now. Even with the music turned on, it doesn't it doesn't play throughout the whole game. It only plays during battles and certain areas that you go into. Everything is turned on. I'm a little busy right now. What is it that you want? I'm not glad. Yes, 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 Namboric. Let us dispense with formalities. Can I help you in some way? I'm here to deliver a note to you. Dick. Are these more requests from the State Finance Bureau? I'm sick of getting more and more requests from them. Let me see it. Boric reads the note. His eyes sparkle deviously as he absorbs every nuance and aspect of a car's proposal. Eventually, he turns back to you. You can tell a car that I graciously accept his proposition. I must get started on this. Please excuse me. Okay. Did you fart? Why, hello, Lug Lug. It's always a pleasure to see you. Borg has agreed to your deal. <whistles> Thank you. You can tell Faida that she no longer has to worry about any threats I have made. Where is the Veiled Alliance headquarters? I thought you were a member of the Veiled, but I don't even know how that answer, how to answer that. Who are the assassins at the gate? There's no secret, so I won't charge you for that answer. It was the Draxons who, by all I can see, want to wipe out the Veiled Alliance, even more than the Sorcerer King did. What are Draxons doing at Tyr? Now, that's an interesting topic. Is it worth 200 steel? Sure! I'm rich! The Draxons started showing up about two months ago. Small numbers at first, but there must be a few hundred of them here now. Unfortunately, I don't have contacts in the Draxa, so I don't know their precious plans. What I do know is that they have wormed their way into all levels of Tyrian government. They are preparing Tyr for some type of assault with the Lord Warrior in direct command. Do you know what the Templars are up to? That's something I'd like to know myself. In fact, I'll pay you 1,000 steel if you find out. All I know about them is that the Draxons are somehow mixed up in it. Who is Lord Warrior? He's the supreme commander of the Dragon Warriors of Adraxa, and his authority in the city is exceeded only by the dragon itself. Hmm. You smart man. Let me crush you. All right, let's return to Faena. This is actually the quest that was broken. I was um, I would do the same exact thing that, that you guys just saw. Is that good for nothing, Jan? All right, let's stop here and do this part real quick. Stop, Lugla. Turn around, fucker. Tell you what, man, everything everything is pretty fixed on this game, except <laughs> this choppy, shitty engine. Over here, you filthy Jan! Where is that good-for-nothing Jan? I thought I saw something. Guards? Alliance? Hey, go! Heavy children's tale. Everything is ready. Mm, but... My master asks another favor. The Lord Warrior has already done enough for your master. Quiet! Somebody's coming. Okay. He is gone. It is very small, though it could affect the Lord Warrior's plan. And there is a gem named Magnolia. She suspects my master. Consider it done. Deliver the information to Zorani on the day of the attack. Lugla got information? And my master needs some of the money. No. None of it until the Sultan is dead. Go now. It's not safe to speak here. I wasn't listening. <coughs> oh, excuse me.
So anyways, when I would return to this girl, uh, she wouldn't have the option for um, me to tell her that she's free from a car's debt. <laughs> and I tried it over and over, reloaded, exhausted all dialogue options, just wouldn't work. When I restarted from scratch, however, we got the correct option that we're about to get now. Have you talked to a call yet? What did he say? Now, before I... The blah, blah, blah. It was broken because this option wasn't here. You no longer owe a car. Instead, the option said, I killed a car, which I, even if you didn't kill a car, that was still the only option. Um, so, yeah, it, it fucked the whole game up because, trust me, it did. You no longer owe a car anything. Olsen was right about you, Luglug, saying that you're something different from the average adventurers who are out to just loot. I owe you a great deal. Thanks. In order to get in the Templar's offices, you must know the correct way to knock. If you knock twice, then once, the door will open for you. Oh, and here's the key to the back door of the Templar's office. It'll only work on the door into the storeroom on the east side of the offices. But I found the Templars often leave valuables in there. Goodbye, and thank you. Goodbye. All right. I even tried killing her, taking that key and going in there. Uh, and what ended up happening was everyone in the building attacked me, and yes, they crushed my party. There's like a ton of moles in there, and moles will whoop your ass. M-U-L-S, moles, not M-O-L-E-S, motherfuckers. Smart asses. So anyways, we're going to continue the next video, breaking into the Templar's offices. In between then and now, I will uh, pawn off the equipment that I don't need. And get back to rich steel status. I want to thank you for watching Dark Sun 2, Wake of the Ravager. And especially those that re-watched it. There is some new content in this video. So hopefully you took the time to watch it all the way through. And uh, we'll see you again in the next Dark Sun 2 video. Stay tuned.